This is Uma for Box Nation. We're at York Home, joined by Richie Riddle. We've just seen Sam Noakes do a dismantling job of his man tonight, would you say? Yeah, he did dismantle him. Um, I thought it was a very composed performance from him. Probably needed to step it up here and there, but nevertheless, he, was, he knew he was in against a fairly tough opponent. And uh, he got the job done, and you know, to be, at the end of the day, he's won every round. So um, I think overall, Alan Smith and the whole team will be pleased with the performance. And he goes one step closer to a world title. He's getting good, valuable rounds under his belt against quality opposition. So yeah, I think overall a good win. Yeah, I think he is close to a world title. I'll go along with that. And I think so is Mark Chamberlain. But we yeah. wouldn't mind seeing that clash either as a world title defence, if one of them can grab one, or even if it's not for a title, that fight is always going to be a big one between them two. That fight is probably the one that everyone wants to see. Um, what weight it would be at, whether Chamberlain can can still make lightweight because he's a big fella, isn't he? Um, you know, uh, and will probably naturally move up. But who knows? Maybe the fight happens at a, a weight above. But yeah, I think domestically. Everyone would want to see it, but who knows? It could be for a world title that fight because it, it, I think they're both, I think they're both good enough to box for a world title, and why not against each other for a version of the world title, either at lightweight or light welter? I think everyone would want to see it. 100%. Richie, it's very late here, so I'll move on to uh, Joshua Dubois before we close off. Mm -hmm. um, what's Dubois' case in this fight here, Richie? I think Dubois got a good chance. Um, I always said that up at GB, uh, when he was an amateur, he had the hardest jab I've ever felt in GB. Take, I, I took loads of people on the pads, and he had the hardest jab that I've ever felt from a GB boxer. On the flip side, AJ had the hardest right hand I'd felt from any fighter that, that I'd had on the pads up there. So, um, yeah, it's it's um, it's a great fight. I think it, it could be a well, it could be a classic case of who connects first. But but uh, but. Daniel Dubois has got a really good chance of winning the fight. Of course he has. It's a really close one to call. I think AJ probably edges it with his experience, but you can't write Daniel Dubois off. I think because in his last two contests, he's really shown um, he's gone to another level in his boxing. He's dug in and he's had to really... Um, he's, asked, he's been asked questions that needed to be answered, and I think he's answered them in his last couple of contests. So against Hergovic, I thought it was a really hard fight, and he really come through it. Against Miller, it was a terrific performance. And there was question marks, I think, before those fights with Daniel Dubois. So, um, yeah, he's, he's answered them, and he's ready for AJ. I think it's a close fight, but I just think AJ just edges it over experience. Just on that fight with Hergovic, he showed a really good chin, actually, mm -hmm. early on. Took far too many shots for his liking and Frank Warren's liking I know that for a fact but when he's been stopped by Joyce and Uzi, he's been worn down yeah. however taking those right hands off Anthony Joshua is that a different case there? Yes it is a different case because it's a different type of right hand with, with Joe Joyce it's, it's more or less volume of punches he's not, he's not a light puncher Joe Joyce he hits hard but he's not a devastating puncher, whereas AJ is a devastating puncher, no question. Can Dubois it, change his style to stay away from those shots, those right hands? Well, he's just got, for me, he's got to use his jab a lot more, um, you know, and just get into the contest. I actually thought against Hergovic, he took too many early, um, and at one point was really struggling, but something happened in the corner and he seemed to get his head right. And then he came through it, and um, it was a really good performance. Against Anthony Joshua, I think his jab is going to play a major role. We all know that Daniel Dubois has got a terrific right hand himself, but his jab, trust me, it's one of the hardest jabs probably in the division, in the heavyweight division, and that will be a key weapon in the contest. Richie, appreciate the time, and we'll see you at Wembley Stadium. Nice one, mate. I'm Thank looking you. forward to it. All the best.